Then find a comfy spot to lie down on the floor. Stretch your legs long. Relax your shoulders down. Relax the back of your neck. We're going to start with the left leg. So rotating the left leg outward from the hip socket. Then slowly bending the knee, dragging the heel in an arc, more or less, until the knee can't drag the heel up anymore. And the knee starts to come towards your midline bringing the foot flat on the ground underneath the knee. So that's the basic movement. We're going to repeat that, reversing that movement back down, moving nice and slow, keeping the rest of your body relaxed. And doing that five to 10 times on that side. And once you've done the left leg, completely relax the whole body letting everything go, taking inventory of how that left leg feels. And then we're going to do the same thing on the right leg, rotating the leg to the outside from the hip. The knee bends, dragging the heel upwards. The knee moves to the center, dragging the foot underneath the knee, placing the foot even on the ground. Taking inventory of what muscles are working and moving in order to complete this movement. Are you tensing on the left side as you move the right side? Can you keep everything really easy and relaxed? Good, and once you've done that five to 15 times on the right side, totally let both legs relax feel the difference in the legs. And then we're going to do the same thing just with both knees and both legs. So we're going to rotate from the hips, bending the knees up, keeping the back of the head relaxed, noticing your breathing, and then dragging the feet right underneath the knees, trying to keep the knees and the legs parallel. No rush, keep it easy, keep it gentle. And staying out of pain as much as you can. If anything that we do in these somatic exercises causes more pain or any sort of stretching or pulling, see if you can make the movement smaller. Try to make the movement with less effort. Try to find a way to do the movement that does not create pain. That is very, very important. Retraining the whole system to be pain-free, moving from a state of grace. Good. So once you've done this movement with both legs several times, you're just listening to your body, getting a sense of when you're naturally kind of complete. You're going to go ahead and simply let the legs and the arms and the whole body Rest. Rest for a few moments on the ground. Just noticing what shifted with the simple movement. And then once you've rested for a few moments on the ground, I want to encourage you to roll over to one side and do a little body scan as you stand up, noticing how your body feels. Now I'm aware my head is probably cut off in this video, and that's okay, but you'll get a sense of what's happening here. For me, with that little bit of movement, I can feel my hips evened out. They're not crooked anymore. I feel more centered. More of my weight is in my heels and I feel very stacked. And actually my shoulders feel more open and it's very easy to stand tall and effortless. So let me know how that feels and works in your body and good luck.